Yeti has more talent than anybody I've ever seen. Hi, I'm John Newman. Hi, I'm Yeti, and welcome to Consigner Confidential. I've been into art my entire existence. I used to do my sister's homework as a kid and, and do her artwork, you know, and she would still get A's. I was a wild kid. I loved, you know, BMX. I loved fighting. I loved all of that kind of stuff. I loved playing outside. And Halloween, I was an orange crayon, like that kind of, like I've been an artist. But at the same time, I had crippling anxiety as a kid growing up. And what I used to do was lock myself in my room, listen to music and I would just draw until I couldn't keep my eyes open anymore. Back in those days, I grew up with um, not only anxiety, but I, had, I grew up with learning disabilities, so I kind of failed at everything. And uh, at a certain point, I was blessed to be taught by uh, two comic book artists. I took the comic book lessons. I mean, I was good at it. I mean, I was learning college stuff as a little kid. I would fail at everything, and then my art teachers would be like, this kid is gifted. My mom started to encourage it. She's also an artist, so I was working with her at age 10. She would paint banners or paint murals and I would fill in the blanks for her. And I would go to her art job. Her, her boss loved comics. He would hire me to draw uh, comic book characters and things like that. And my mom always told me, basically since I was a kid, she's like, you have no choice. This is what you're doing. You know what I mean? Go all the way with this. I uh, was always interested in sports. Started off from really going to baseball, sports card shows back when I was probably eight or nine years old. Before I knew it, I had a pretty good collection. And later on in life, really got into other types of collectibles, even art. There was a party in the town uh, that I live in. This party happened to be outstanding because there were a lot of creative people there. I was at an art show painting and he approached me. He was the only artist doing art live. He purchased work, right? So then we established a relationship. Now Yeti a lot of times will not take on projects because he likes to do whatever he feels is the creative direction he wants to go. And eventually when he um, approaches me with this, I mean, I, I just go for it. You know, I like challenges. I think it was a, a, was a good combination and I felt confident that he knew his world really well and I knew my world really well. He came up with several versions. We picked the version that he ended up painting. And then from there, I didn't want to take away from his creativeness. It hits me, so I'm like, all right, you know, like Mickey Mouse, right? Mickey Mantle, you know, like, you know, like same kind of time period. So I, I mixed them together. When I looked at him, I knew I couldn't change him. He needed to read. I knew there were certain things I could switch up and make a little more funkier. So I knew the, the Yankee hat is an iconic thing. So if I did that in the Disney style, that's iconic. Baseball bat, you know, have like Mickey Mantle's bat like that. I was like, okay, that's cool. And then when I was painting Manhattan, that's an actual cell from a Disney film. When I was looking at the signature, I was like, oh, this has to be Walt Disney. You know what I mean? It has to be that classic Walt Disney type of style. I always think like if, if Mickey Mantle seen this, would he be like, you're disrespecting me? Or he'd be like, oh, that's cool. So Jordan's a whole other world because you're, you're not just painting Jordan, you're painting Jordan in an iconic pose, in an iconic moment for him, and then you're painting an entire stadium. So um, we switched some things around. We gave him, you know, his kicks. We changed the lighting, but we tried to keep the color as similar as possible. We have his father in the crowd, which was tricky because he's so tiny. I want to make sure I'm respectful if I'm, you know, trying to embody someone's presence on a piece. These particular works, are you know something that has never been done before and it does make you think and, it, and it's fun especially being not only a collector of sports cards a collector of art i wanted one of each piece for myself and then we figured okay uh, we would take one of each piece and sell them in a different way rather than hanging it in a gallery or you know in an art show yeti is a true artist a, a really good human being out of all the artists that i've gotten to know and all the art that I've even collected over the years has more talent than anybody I've ever seen. And his art, it, and, and everybody tends to say the same thing, it just makes you smile and makes you think. Here's a funny thing that the world doesn't know is when I was a kid, my special ed teacher actually was like, this kid can rap, he can rhyme. So make him write his homework in rhyme and he'll do better. And like, I actually did that my whole entire school career. 
and you know I, I passed you know what I mean <laughs> When it comes to putting heart in this, I harness heart and wit. Watch me grow from starving artist to your favorite artist, artist in, and I ain't selling out like I don't study in no artist in. There ain't no heart in it. Let's cut to the chase. Get to the heart of this. Like everything I touch, turn to gold like the heart in him. Cause everything I touch, that's my goal. I put my heart in. If you can't tell it's marvelous, angelics will hop in it. So hard in this, you mark my words, targeted Artemis. I'm passionate, my passion is passionate about surpassing what compassion is. I dabble in, baffling, babbling, half wits on average, but half my wits. I'm time traveling by accident, vinyl crackling, I crack up and cracking. You know what I mean? I mean, whatever we can cut it you can blend that out <laughs>